So what did you write? I wrote that I'm frustrated at me because I don't know how to make a living that is true to who I am. Everything I want to do is selfish and doesn't pay the rent. I want me to find clarity. So you need to pay the rent, is it true? <laughs> no. <laughs> you say no like it's it. the right answer. Con consider that. Well... No. Are you all considering that? Whether the word is mortgage or rent? Or... Does anyone in the world need to pay the rent? <laughs> <laughs> all you landlords, are you sweating? <laughs> you need to pay the rent, is it true? Imagine what it would be like without that thought, when your rent's due when they're coming to evict you? How do you react when you think that thought and you, you don't have the money for it? That's the point. You don't have the money for it, or you're, you have the money for it and you're just too terrified to let it go, because you're going to need it for the future. <laughs> How many of you have been in that position? You know, from there. How do you react when you think the thought? If I can't pay the rent, I feel like I can't take care of myself. Like I'm a failure. And then what emotions happen in that? I feel embarrassed. And I feel just like a second-class citizen. And do you see images of yourself in the future having to ask someone you care about for help. I don't have to go to the future to see that. Yeah, I have asked. And, and you see stories of, I mean, images of you having to do it again. And I and, don't like it. I push it away. Yeah. And that's the embarrassment you feel, because you're witnessing those images. Those images are what I mean, like, like it has babies. You know, those are the babies that hold up the original concept. Mm. I have to pay the rent. So it's it, not right or wrong. This is all about noticing where your suffering comes from. It threatens my sense of independence that, I'm, that I can take care of myself. Honey, would you write down, I can't take care of myself? So let's turn it around. I have to pay the rent. I don't have to pay the rent. So give me an example of why that's true, when you don't have money for it. I could work at McDonald's if I needed to. That's, I'm willing to? I'm willing to. I look forward to. I look forward to... I look forward to working at McDonald's. look forward to paying, working at McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. You know, it could it's be... It's kind of true. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love your catching on to that. <laughs> My goodness, you wherever know, you can serve. Sometimes you, I say my dream job is just to work at Home Depot and get paid and have some free time. <laughs> yeah, not joking. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I'm not joking either. Yeah, I see that. So let's have that conversation. You be your family and all those people you want to impress, and I'm going to be you working at Home Depot. Okay. okay so. Ask me where I work. So where do you work now? Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you're not really living up to your potential. You know, you could be right. I, I think you should come, come home and live here and we'll find a way for you to get a real job. You know, that's lovely. And you know, I really like my job here. And thank you for that. You're so incredibly generous. You've always been there in that way for me. I'm so grateful. You want to hear about my job? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love my job, and I love the hours, and the people there, and, 
and I'm really good at following directions, so I never have to think. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like heaven, and they pay me. I get to run all those tools and serve people, and it's like a workout, lifting all those things. I stay healthy. Yeah. I'm in and out, so you know, it's not like having to sit all day. And it's great. Mm. You're sure you're not, you shouldn't be doing something more important? Well, you know, it's very important to me that I like what I do. And then I have plenty of spare time to, to live a balanced life. That could be me saying that. <laughs> that sounds well, like me. Isn't it? So you have a, a job you don't like, hours you don't like, an apartment maybe that you can't afford, I don't know, all because you don't want someone to say you're not living up to your full potential. Sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? <laughs> Once we break it down, yes. <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, I'm terrified of what others think of me, especially my family. And not living up to your full potential. Yeah, I'm terrified of that. Yeah, so how would you even know what it is? Whatever job you take on, are you sure that's your full potential? That's why I'm stuck. Because I don't know... Hmm. It's like I have to be sure that it's going to be something that's going to live up to my full potential before I'll even start it. Mm -hmm. So whatever you take on, do it as well as you can, and that's your full potential. That's how I do the dishes. It's how I scrub the floor. It's how I, um, it's, it's how I am with my children, my husband. I do the best that I can. Yeah. And that's my full potential in the moment, and it's good with me. It's not maybe so hot for others, mm -hmm. but it is good for me. So, full potential is doing whatever you do in the moment, isn't it? It's not later. <laughs> so, you know, they could miss that you are living up to your full potential, but it's important that you don't miss it. I see that, and <clears throat> I'm afraid to act on that because... Because they might say you're not living up to your full potential. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... When, when I say three, everyone say to him out loud, you're not living up to your full potential, so we can get this out of his system. I want to say if you die or not. <laughs> One, two, three, you're not living up to your full potential. <laughs> that was How you doing? I'm still sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, as you sit there, are you, are you, um, is your body comfortable enough? Is it okay with you? Not too bad. Okay. So, this is your full potential. Yeah. You're doing it in every moment. This is it. Yeah, sit with friends. Take some of the pressure mm. off. Well, reality has a way about it, as opposed to imagination. Yeah. Imagination not keeping up with reality is not that comfortable. You know, if you had the biggest mm. job in the world, and the whole world was saying, you're so wonderful at this, to your own mind, you could still believe that you're not living up to your full potential and you don't like that job. Yeah. In other words, you're going to take that belief with you no matter where the job is, no matter yes. what the job is, because it's what you're believing you take with you. It has nothing to do with the outside thing, a job. And if I am doing the dishes and I have the thought I'm not living up to my full potential, I may notice that there's a dish I didn't rinse as well as I could have. Yeah. And I may rinse it again or not. And it may occur to me, I don't care that much about my full potential. <laughs> that I'm doing the best that I can and I accept it. Hmm. Or I may find that I pick up the dish, rinse it again, and it's just as comfortable. So continue to read. Everything I want to do is selfish and doesn't, and doesn't pay the rent. We did. Um, 
What do you mean by everything you want to do is selfish? I really want to question everything and find the truth. So you need to take some time out. That's what I want. Yeah. And that, in my mind, doesn't look good mm -hmm. from everyone else's point of view. Mm -hmm. And yours? If I don't look at everyone else, it looks, it sounds like heaven. And whose life is it? Mine. And how are you doing living your life out of what other people want you to live? Miserable. How's it working for you? Miserable. Why don't you just ask the one that matters, yourself, and yeah. try that people? 